working closely with Hanna at the WPA, we thought it'd be nice to play a piece together. So um, after doing some research on the internet, I found a piece by the American composer Ian Ditterman. It was originally written for bass trombone and viola. And after contacting Ian, he kindly agreed to rearrange it for bass trombone and violin. And we will be performing the world premiere this coming Thursday at Antiros in Norwich. Um, we've curated, that's uh, Liam Paradine, myself, Hannah Warmer, and Daniel Roberts. We've curated a two day classical music event at Antiros Arts Norwich and it's on the 18th and the 19th of this month, September. Um, it really focuses on modern compositions from living composers, but we have got some more traditional music in there as well. On the 18th, it's the first day of the two-day recital series, and it's quite an unusual event. It's a recital for bass, trombone, and violin, so it's not your usual recital. We're going to be playing a world premiere of a piece by Ian Detling, and then I will be performing some unaccompanied bark, taking you on a little tour of unaccompanied bark, and then I'll be ending on a solo piece by living composer Nimrod Borenstein called Quasi Una Cadenza. <laughs> The Tarika one is a piece composed by my teacher Peter Feuchtwanger. Um The word Tarika is Iranian for prelude, and in this music he makes the piano sound like the santor, which is an Iranian string instrument, and you hear this effect throughout the whole piece. <laughs> Alcan's Fantasy for the left hand alone um, is an etude for just the left hand and the challenge of this piece is to bring out the melody and the accompaniment of just the one hand. Be our first ever performance of the Poulain Sonata for Violin and Piano and it will also be I think our first performance together at least of the Mozart Sonata in E minor. That's quite an unusual one because it's his only sonata for violin in a minor key and he wrote it around the time of his mum's death, so it's quite a poignant piece. The Poulenc actually, is, it's got some difficulties, difficulties in it. It really uses the whole range of violin techniques, but it's not as difficult as it seems once you get the hang of it. It really utilizes pizzicato, the pizzicato in it is amazing and the double stops. It's got some eternal passages but it's got a really fun theme running through it. 